Hey everybody, this is Workforce Gaming. I'm Doug, along with Brad. Hello! And this week we are going to be talking about Final Fantasy XV episode Gladios. Yeah! Our, our Gladios episode. Episode yeah, Gladius. No, episode Gladius. Now I'm actually super interested in this because I am I have been waiting for Final Fantasy XV to be uh, f- finished. I don't fixed. know if that's the right word. Fixed, I think fixed. is a good word. Fixed is a good finished, word. Finished, fixed. Yeah. And my well, they did just fix a lot this week. They did fi- with this DLC. Yeah, they it, fixed a whole bunch this week. So I mean, there's that. Yeah, that's what I thought was really interesting. So this DLC is not just this DLC. This DLC came out with like a whole host of fix, including fixing the infamous chapter 13, which Brad, I, I Oh, you actually thought it was bad. Oh, I hate Did you not listen to our review? That's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I like just talked about that for about 2 minutes of our review of how bad that chapter is. Yeah, so <laughs> and like and I know that's such like a weird attitude because I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, it, of course the game's finished. You're just being pretentious." But I was like the when I was reading those updates, like they're not quite done with this game. So this is one of the first big updates on top of Episode Gladio. So I'm just going to wait till all the DLC comes out. So, Brad, so you you are actually you love Final Fantasy 15. I think warts and all, you're a big you like Oh, it. yes, absolutely. That's one of the best games from last year. And easily yeah so so going into this like you you don't you don't normally buy dlc do you buy dlc actually <laughs> i never buy DLC. i don't i was thinking about that as i was buying it because i got home from work i was like "Ooh, that came out and i went downstairs and i went and just bought it first thing i was like wait a minute when the hell was the last time i bought dlc <laughs> and i honestly can't remember yeah i think the five I'm bucks pretty sure it's it was five bucks like too. unless you count like the like last of us like add-on thing I think that's the last one I bought. That's like half DLC, half not DLC. Yeah, that's kind of like an expansion. So it's been pack. a while. Yeah, that's like an expansion pack. I don't yeah. really gonna count that one. Yeah. So you you excitedly were ready to jump right in back into oh, Final yeah. Fantasy. So how how was jumping back in? How was oh, yeah? I don't even know where to start with this because I don't even know a lot about it. This is so this is a completely different game. Oh, well, not completely different. This is very different. So the whole idea with this is there's a scene in the game where Gladio goes off by himself and he just does his own thing. And this takes part in that part where he's off doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. So basically, you come across, you start out just doing your normal campfire thing. He leaves, and then you go to this dungeon. And basically, it's just a dungeon. Oh. And when I say a dungeon, I'm being very generous because it's basically an hour-long linear pathway with a couple boss-ish fights. Like, not bosses, but kind of bosses. Ugh. And that's it. Are they good bosses? <laughs> eh, not particularly, no. Oh, Jesus. It's, so so the thing with this is, is this is really weird because story-wise, it's I, irrelevance harsh, but it's borderline irrelevant. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's nice because you see Korra as well, who's one of the kind of the side characters who pops in and out throughout the game. So it's you and him going through this dungeon type thing uh, together. But the story really is just essentially like, oh, yeah, you're going to go. You need to be, have more power to really become the, the shield of the king and you need to finish this trial to be able to fully realize your potential as that role or something along those lines yeah anyway so you go through the dungeon you do that what's weird about this is this is a completely different combat system than what's in the game so that has me excited (laughs) yes because this is what you want so if you (laughs) listen to our review of final fantasy 15 we talked a lot about the combat system and the is it turn-based is it devil may cry this takes it and moves it about eight steps closer to devil may cry it's essentially three buttons. You've got your attack button, you've got your dodge slash block button, and you've got your special attack button. That's it. No turn base, no nothing. You block, you build up a power gauge, which slowly uh, increases your power as you block attacks or you take damage. That gets stronger, so your attacks get stronger. Mm-hmm. And as you attack, you build up like your special gauge. When it gets to a point, you can use your special attack. That's the combat in this, which is completely different than playing as Noctis in the normal game. So that's the interesting piece with this, is how they've taken this game... It looks the same, it feels the same, all of those things, but the combat is 100% different. Okay, so it's 100% different, and now it's eight, eight. This is one of those things, like, now that's eight, he's like you said, eight notches closer to Devil May Cry, it's now competing with Devil May Cry, so compared to, say, a normal character action yes. game. <laughs> so now, now it actually is drawing in that direct comparison, so as an action game, is it any good? No. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's one of those things where and this is what we talked about before final fantasy 15 gets away with it because it's this weird hybrid of things yeah and it's that you know what it's not perfect in its combat and its gameplay mechanics but there's a lot of unique things to it that make it an interesting experience to go through this very much feels like somebody's trying to make devil may cry or bayonetta or whatever who doesn't quite have the full time to put their full time and resources 
to build that the correct way. Oh. It works to a point because you're still using the basic foundations of the Final Fantasy 15 combat system. Yeah. But you're using it much more in that hack and slash type way where you're going, okay, hit, 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 block, block. Okay, he's going to start attack, block. Okay, count, you know, dodge the side hit. Yeah. It wants to have that pace. But the other issue is that for me personally is when you think of a Devil May Cry, you think of Bayonetta, those characters are quick. You are moving around constantly. You don't slow down at all. Yeah, yeah. Gladio's the power character in the game, essentially. So you got your big ass sword that you're like swinging over your head. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of times where almost the attacks feel like, this would be great and this would work, but I'm too slow. Oh, which is weird because I don't feel like I don't feel like there's many action games where you are that big, powerful dude. It's a lot of that like quick little dodge stuff. I mean, yeah, even God of War, which kind of has like, oh, he's a super strong character. He's still pretty quick and and yeah. athletic. Yeah, which I don't know if you know, given more time to develop this and given much more time to like sit and play with this, because I basically played through it once. Uh, and then I went back a little bit and just kind of played through a little bit else with it, which is only about an hour and a half. It takes about an hour and a half to beat, give or take. Mm-hmm. Spending that much time with it, it just feels sluggish. It just feels slow. Oh, okay. And not, I don't want to say unresponsive, but from somebody who, you know, like has played a lot of Devil May Cry, a lot of Bayonetta, a lot of that kind of game, yeah, yeah. it feels slow, sluggish, just kind of like i'm I'm hitting the button like you know. <laughs> i think i think a lot i mean we haven't played near yet but we both played that near demo and that was like damn that's yes. pretty slick and i think like yes. directly it com- doesn't have that slick feeling yeah it has that like okay like we're lumbering we're big like yeah i can do a lot of damage because you can pick up um columns from the side and swing these big ass columns at things yeah um which is a cool thing as well but it just it gives it this kind of like lumbering feeling of like okay if i want this kind of st- stylish action hack and slash game that this is trying to draw comparisons to i want speed i want quickness i want it to be able to move i you know i can see that because i don't like that that sort of like lumberness is usually a sub weapon in one in like one of those games you can then swap out for like a faster weapon and then you it's like yeah. so you like you use those like power hits um as sort of like like a and either to begin a combo or to end a combo not just the entire combo oh that's a really yeah. that'd be a hard thing to do like just do an action combat with a slow character but then like Trust, not trusting, but having the guys who did Final Fantasy, which is not really an action game to begin with. Well, it is, but you know, not. Yeah, a it's super it's strong a weird one. hybrid thing. It it feels it feels weird. It's it's interesting, and I liked it, and it was just it was one of those things where it's for five bucks. It's one of those cool things just to see, like, okay, somebody just had an idea and wanted to play with this. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it's it's cool to experience that. Where it's just like, what if this was more like that? Because I think that's that's a lot of what the conversation was around Final Fantasy fifteen is. Well, what if they'd gone to that old school turn-based style and they just kept embracing what they've been doing? Or what if they really fully embraced this new action thing? Yeah. What would that have been like? So I think it's this kind of cool thing to almost see like that. Oh well, what if? And they're like, well, here's kind of what it would have been like. And you're going like, oh, okay, cool. I'm glad I tried that. Good call. Sticking <laughs> with the other thing though. <laughs> actually, you know, the, you bring that up. I'm actually really curious if they go the other way than with the other characters. That'd be really like Ignis. Like Ignis is kind of like the smart character. Yeah, it makes sense for him to be essentially do. like the yeah. That'd be cool. He'd be like essentially more your mage type slow. Yeah. Why don't they actually do like full on turn based combat with him? And then like with uh, the other guy, he's like he's a shooter, so it's gonna be like a third person. Sh- oh man, that. Mm. You could actually now that I'm thinking about that, if they actually went that route and had each one of these have their own kind of specific gameplay mechanic, that'd be a really cool way to approach this. But you, like you said, it's like it, it didn't go that full way, so it is so like we directly compare it with other games in that sort of genre, it's just not good. Yeah, it, it. And again, I don't. Not good is a bit rough. Yeah. Like, so it's what's your like your kind of final thoughts on this? I guess. Yeah. This this is very much that thing like if if you liked Final Fantasy fifteen if you're into that world if you want to kind of get that feeling of Final Fantasy fifteen again I I don't regret purchasing it I don't regret playing it again it's about an hour and a half when you beat it it doesn't lack a score attack mode where you can just kind of run through it really quick skip the cutscenes and then again essentially that you know try and S rank everything that you would get in one of those action games yeah. which not something I really have any desire to do with this game because of its pace but it's it's an interesting thing to check out and again I think. Now think of it in terms of, okay, you're playing Final Fantasy 15 in that new sense of in that what would it have been like? It's a very interesting piece of DLC. I think it's much better than just going like, here's another like two hours of what Noctis is doing. Mm -hmm. Remember him? It's like, okay, we're going to try something new with this, which... Again, not being fully involved in a lot of DLC, I don't know if that's what a lot of them are doing or whatever, but... (laughs) I would say largely (laughs) Uh, no. It just feels (laughs) unique in that sense. Hmm. Yeah. 
again, if you're into Final Fantasy 15, I give it a shot. The only other thing I could say was one of my favorite parts about Final Fantasy 15 was the character interactions, as was seeing these four main characters develop those relationships and build through those things and go through all this stuff together. And in this, you don't get that because it's essentially just you. Mm-hmm. Core is there to kind of throw in some things, but he's more of that like, let me explain why you're doing this type character. Gotcha. Yeah. Versus anything else. So that's one that that is one of the downsides I think of doing the solo episodes with each character is, to me, the big draw was those character interactions, and you're stripping that right out of the game. So that's kind of a weird piece as well. But hmm. overall, I if you're into Final Fantasy 15, I give it a shot. I feel like I sounded really negative, but it does. It 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 is a cool thing to just kind of play around with for an hour or two yeah it's an hour and a half and it's five bucks <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> all right so if you guys like what you heard we are workforce gaming you can follow us at workforce gaming on twitter or subscribe to us on youtube uh, see you guys next time bye